All right, this is campbasecom.com. Another update on the progress for the uh, GTX. Today, I'm going to start the removal of the inside heater. And the heater, when I received the car, was disconnected. These, uh, these plumb pipes here were disconnected, and I think they were disconnected because there's probably a leak in there. To start the process, what I'm going to do is take off three bolts on the outside wall here. That'll be this one, this one, and there's one way over here, right under there. I'm pretty sure that's heater because, number one, the bolt looks the same, and I'm told there's three bolts. So if you're having trouble finding them, they're quite dispersed. Then we'll go around to the inside, take a look at what we got. There's quite a bit of trash and debris in, in my heater box. All that debris came in through here. And then, oops, sorry, it came in the car into this box. And you can see it sitting in there. So, I don't see a way to get that stuff out of there as far as... Uh, through normal processes we have a uh, okay this slide this is slide over here to my left I have a, a vent tab right here and that is working that vent opens and closes this box here And then uh, got two wires here. Looks like a strap, some sort of strap right here holding the box. Um, I don't know about those screws against that back wall. We'll find out. Couple uh, heating ducts. The material for the ducts, they look like they're actually in pretty good shape. To start with, I'm, I'm going to take the glove box out and that, that lets me see the top of it. There's also a light over here. I'll see if that's working. But uh, glove box shouldn't be that, that big a deal. I see a bunch of screws for that. And we'll see how that goes. So that's my plan. That's the next project I'm working on. Can't base out. Okay YouTube, the heater box is out took about an hour and a half of pushing and pulling I actually took off the door for the glove box I labeled wires according to what controllers they're on there's only two of these vents I think they both went up top to uh, defrost I actually removed the fuel fuse bo box but didn't really disconnect it there's another box right there I don't know what that is I really don't I have to figure that one out there's a big hole there's your holes out front uh, not too bad a job about an hour and a half uh, looks pretty clean in here so let's take a look out front at the box itself There's the box. Uh, it's not in horrible shape other than being very dirty. The only two two plugs that were in it are right here. And this one, this one goes over to the fan and it belongs right there. So really there's only one plug. This is for a mounting brace that went up top. Uh, there were this is not an air conditioning unit, this is heater only. The two vent plugs for the, de uh, I believe, defrost went here. There's only two, there's only three. This is all mostly wire controlled. So there's one, two, three wire control. Also, a ton of debris in this thing. Um, you know, I don't know how over the years, I don't know if you can see, but there's the, uh, the leaking uh, cooling, cooling fan thing. Uh, I forget what you call it. 
But anyway, I, you know, all that debris just sitting in there, I, I don't see any way for to get out. I guess uh, you could uh, actually pull out these screws here, take this cover off, reach in and get it. But then you, you wouldn't see what was over on the back side right back in there. You'd have to reach in, up and over to get that. But, uh, you know, also up in the front of the car, I know there's still a lot of debris down in here. So I'm going to have to go collect that somehow. I'm not sure how to get it out. Any of you guys know, uh, leave a note for me. All right, this is going to be a two-part video. That's the end of to the takeout and the basic information. And then I'll probably do, re do a rebuild on this and uh, do a second video on the rebuild. Can't base out.